TFL EV is brought to you by Flow Charger, maker of reliable, high-quality charging stations for your electric vehicle. Oh my, it is definitely winter in the Rockies, Tommy. That's right, guys. Yeah, it's a cold, snowy day, and we're going to try out the new Hummer EV in the white stuff, and we're going to see how it performs. First snow, my favorite video, Tommy. Absolutely. Yeah, so we bought this Hummer a few months ago, and we haven't had a chance to get it out in the snow yet, but now we probably have four to five inches of snow, so we're going to see how it does, how the all-wheel drive system performs, the traction control, how it stops, that kind of thing. So let's talk about the most important thing, which is, of course, are the tires. Now, this is a stock Hummer, first edition, right? Um, it's, of course, the electric model, the Hummer EV, and it's rolling on a set of Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires. Now, this is a very aggressive off-road tire, uh, more of a mud terrain design. And if you look down here, you see it says um, 30570 RE18, so it's a 35-inch tall tire, M&S, mud and snow rated, but I don't believe it has a three-peak snow rating on it. Or a one-peak snow rating. <laughs> Now, for all of you out there um, who live in other countries, it may be kind of odd, but in Colorado, we don't require like a snow tire in the winter. Although, of course, it's definitely recommended. So I'm curious to see how the Territory MT will perform. Now, the other thing, of course, that's important to all-wheel uh, drive vehicles, or in this case, yes, it's all-wheel drive, right? It's really not 4x4, four four, it's more of an all-wheel drive. Well, it doesn't have a low range, so probably all-wheel drive, yeah. Yeah, because it's got uh, actually three motors. Mm -hmm. It's electric, so uh, one in the front. Uh, and then two in the back, I believe, or is it the other way around? That's exactly right. So one motor in the front and then two on the rear axle and the total system output is right around a thousand horsepower. So we should have no difficulty in terms of power getting through the snow. It also has air suspension, so it does lift itself up. But like I said, well, why don't you show them how much snow we got? Why don't you put your foot in there? Yeah, we probably got a good four inches there. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we're gonna need the 16 inches of, <laughs> of ground clearance that this offers. But something unique about it is what time you has to do with the rear wheels. Yep, so of course it has four wheel steering. So the wheels can um, turn with the front wheels or against the front wheels, depending on which mode it's in. In crab mode, it will turn with the front wheels. In normal mode, it'll turn against. So you've got a really tight turning radius, which is great for snowy conditions. Hey, let's try that out. Why don't you go, uh, just jump in, see if you can make, uh, make a turn right there. Okay. I'm curious. So I'll drive up the street. Yep, and then do a turn and then come pick me up. Sounds good. Start it up, Tommy. <laughs> of course, you can't really start it up. <laughs> you just push the button. It's electric. Now, you may be wondering about, you know, what happens to the battery uh, in the snow, in the cold. This is the wrong video for that. We're just seeing how it handles in the snow. We're not doing battery testing. Those videos will come, so don't worry. We'll see how much distance we lose when it gets cold. Right now, it's certainly freezing, it's snowing, so uh, we're supposed to be into the teens by this evening, but when it snows, usually it's warmer. Oh, there you can see it kind of doing the four-wheel steering, but here he comes. <laughs> no, I hope he didn't get into that intersection, but here he comes. He's gonna go through the deep stuff. See how this four wheel steering works. I'm gonna get in the middle so we can watch it. That was pretty good. Yeah, I love you coming through the snow there. Should I do a quick acceleration test? Yeah, let me, let me zip out and see how it accelerates. Are you ready? Hold on. Okay, three, two, one, go. A little bit of rear wheel spin, but that's about it. You got a little bit of rear wheel spin, Tommy. A little bit of rear wheel spin, but that was about it. All right, you wanna hop in? Or? Yeah, let's take it for a ride. Now we did uh, opt for the extra spare tire because we are gonna hopefully take this to Moab later this week. And you do want a spare tire when you take it off road uh, because there's no spare tire in the traditional place, which would be underneath the bed. Uh, so it does take up a lot of bed. Thank you, Tommy. Here, you want to hold this for a sec? Oh yeah, now this is one of the coolest features of the Hummer. Did you talk about this yet? The three wipers? Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. And they do a good job of clearing the windshield. Because the windshield's pretty short and squatty, the solution was to give you three wipers to kind of get the best possible view out the front. Oh, that's good. All those cameras? Yeah, we got cameras too. Let's see what the uh, front camera looks like. That's pretty neat, huh? Yeah. We also have the underbody camera. Look, you can see the snow. And it's got a little cleaner, right? Yeah, you can squirt it off. So you can get rid of the snow. 
That's pretty cool. All right, all right, let's go for a ride. Now, I was noticing something interesting. What's that? On really hard turns, right, you get that really aggressive four-wheel steering. Yep. And what that results to is a lot of movement in the rear end, so it does definitely want to swing out on you if you're not careful making tight turns. I'll demonstrate it up here, right? Okay, yeah. So we'll come to a stop at the stop sign. Yeah. There's nobody coming in this um, really quiet neighborhood, and then I'm just going to make a really tight turn, and you're going to feel what happens. Oh, I could feel that back end coming See out. That? Yeah, it just wants to slide. Yeah, and I think a big part of that is because of that really tight rear steering. Yeah, yeah, it, it makes for like uh, a Swedish <laughs> flick, the <Scandinavian laughs> maybe flick. flick. Yeah. All right, now here's a big question. Are you ready to try the brakes? Yeah, go for so it. This is 20 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. Nine and a half thousand pounds, and this is the thing that a lot of people forget, Tommy. Right? All wheel drive makes it easy to get going. Oh, 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 <laughs> but four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive doesn't make it any better stopping. Yeah. You want to get a shot from the outside here? Yeah, sure. Oh. You gonna, you're gonna go get some get some deep snow. I'll come down and yeah. snow. Yeah, get some get some get some deep snow. We'll get some fun stuff. It's like a, a polar bear in a snowstorm, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> See the rear wheel steering there. Uh, oh, he didn't. He wasn't able to do a complete turn even with the rear wheel steering. Interesting. So we just found some really deep snow. Now he's got a little bit of traction issues, and here it comes. Look at that. So quiet, huh? It is just so utterly quiet, and that's one of the beauties of electric vehicles. Uh, they're just so quiet. Now, like I said, if you're wondering how much range we lose uh, with it being cold and snowy, we will do that test as well. But this is, like I said, more of just trying to figure out how get him turn around, how this Hummer performs in the snow. I think he's gonna come right at me here. Let's see. <laughs> I wonder if uh, we should get some snow tires for this. That might not be a bad idea. How's it doing? It's doing really good. It's really slidey, but the alarming part is yeah. when you get 9,400 pounds going sideways, it doesn't necessarily want to go forward again. Hey, turn around, come at me. It's a beautiful shot. I want to get like that, you know, the, 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 the snow dunk that you get when you're skiing, right? So go down the street and then come back on the right side here where there's no cars and still deep snow. You know, I think four wheel steering is gonna uh, become much more prevalent in well, the very near future. Now you're seeing cars like uh, the Mercedes EQS and the S-Class have it. It's just become a thing, especially on these bigger vehicles. And if you guys are truck guys, you'll know that once upon a time, GM had Quadra steer, uh, which didn't take, but I think from now on, we're gonna see four wheel steering on a lot more vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta ask Tommy an important question. All right, is it confidence inspiring? Um, or is it is it is it a little too like are the tires a little too? Well, what I'm noticing yeah. is acceler acceleration is uh -huh. very good, and with the three motors, um, the traction control, especially with the instant modulation of the motors, has a lot of control to kind of determine where to send power when, right? Which is very cool. And that's one of the advantages of an electric vehicle is you don't have to take into consideration like a power band and where the torque curve is of a gasoline engine. In an EV, the computer can immediately modulate the electric motors because it's going to have the same amount of torque from a low RPM than from like a mid RPM. Um, now, what I am noticing is even with the traction control stability control program completely on, it's extremely slow. Slidey. It's really, really slidey. Uh, a lot, a lot of um, movement from the rear end. It's a lot of oversteer, which is fun when you're expecting it like that, right? Yeah. But once it starts sliding, you gotta be pretty quick to respond because 9,000 pounds squatting over to one side of the suspension can be a little bit alarming. And then slowing it like that, that was not an intentional slide. What I noticed too is that we have heated seats and a heated steering wheel. How's yep. that feel? They work great. And the biggest issue is that. 
Yeah. It takes a long time to slow down. So if I were to own this vehicle year-round in the snow, yeah. I might consider a three-peak snow-rated tire like a BFG KO2. I, I agree. I think uh, a three-peak tire would be um, immensely um, smart for the winter. <laughs> yeah. Plus, I think part of the reason it feels so slidey is because if you so much as glance at the throttle, just a little bit too much, that instant torque will spin up those tires and you'll lose traction. Yeah, and you know, we haven't locked the lockers. You know, it's got a front and a front and rear locker right there, but it, it doesn't really necessarily help in snow um, to lock stuff up. It just makes it harder to steer oftentimes. Yep, that's right. All right, well, you want to do one more pass through, or are you uh, going to put it in snow mode? I want to see if there, I don't think there is a snow mode, Dad. I don't think there is a snow so mode. So you've got normal, normal to haul, terrain, off road, Maya mode, and then back to normal. I don't believe that this yeah, we, has we a snow mode. Yeah, we don't have a snow mode, huh? Interesting. Yeah. You think the GM would have put a snow mode in here? Maybe so. Uh, all right. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. First snow in the. Uh, brand new Hummer EV. Uh, the one thing I do love about this vehicle is it's got so much ground clearance, right? I remember we had an old Volvo cross country and we had an enormous snowstorm here, Tommy, and I got it actually high centered. <laughs> and I'm not worried about that. So uh, that that is certainly a giant plus for this. This is interesting too. It's got a lot of regen, right? But yeah. the computer's smart enough to know not to provide so much where you start locking up the tires. Really? So you think the ABS is calibrated in with the regen setting. So it's slipper here, off the accelerator, and it's actually letting off the regen to help slow us down um, safely so we don't end up in a skid. Yeah, I just love uh, pickup trucks in the snow because most of them, like I said, are all-wheel drive or 4x4. Four four. Uh, they have much more ground clearance uh, and you see above things which is great because you want to have you know good visibility another cool thing about this truck um, because it's electric if you have it plugged in for example in your garage at home you can start preconditioning the climate system while you're plugged in so use the electricity off of your house and not out of the battery so you can maximize range that way and then you show up to your truck it's all nice and toasty and another myth I want to bust too is just because it's wet and snowy out there you can still plug in outside so these vehicles are designed to charge outside yeah and well. it was charging overnight and we still have it says 326 miles of range i would you know what i would do what if i was driving this in the winter yeah i would be tempted to turn off the um rear steer because it really wants to swing that rear end around with the rear steer engaged i think with having just the rear wheels pointing forward you might have a little bit more did you turn it off oh you can try turn it off let's see there we do speeds to use rear steer modes Rear steer off. Let's okay, see. now try it. See what, see what it does. Here, try making a big, big like U turn. Yeah, I'm gonna go right. Now. It won't do the same kind of U, U turn. What do you think? Do you feel like you got more control? It's the same, actually. Maybe a little bit more. We'll go ahead and turn that back on. Okay, well, there you go. Maybe that's not the way Maybe to do it. Maybe that's not the solution. Well, it's got pretty, pretty, you know, great weight distribution, right? Because the batteries live underneath the whole thing. So most EVs have 50-50 weight distribution, which, you know, usually is a plus for handling. Sure, absolutely. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. First snow uh, in the Hummer EV. Um, and uh, stay tuned for more. The plan is that hopefully this week, uh, if I can get to Moab, we're going to take this to Moab and do a TFL off-road review on fins and things. And as always, uh, go to alltfl.com uh, for all of the latest videos, uh, including uh, the stuff we just did with a purchase of a new vehicle. Yep. See you guys next time. Ciao. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.